My name is Leo Thompson. Uh, this is the 4th of October 2016. Uh, the lab session is Tuesday morning and I'm in Group 5. And I'm explaining the process of distillation. So, in this flask here, you have the solution that you want to separate um, with various fractions in. Um, and then you've got it connected to the Liebig condenser. Uh, and you have two tubes, one going to the cold water tap and the other going to the sink. This tube isn't long enough, but normally it would be in the sink. Um, and you have a beaker to collect the, uh, the, the liquid that comes from the condenser. Um, and then this is the, the heating mantle, which allows you to boil your uh, solution. And so... The thermometer, the thermometer is held here at the joint between the, the flask and the condenser because we want to measure the temperature of the, of the gas uh, as it goes into the condenser. Um, so to begin the process we turn on the cold tap and then uh, turn the heating mantle up to 10. Uh, we want to keep the, the heating mantle on the highest temperature uh, unless it starts to boil too quickly, in which case we turn it down. We want it to, to boil steadily and once, once we see that the temperature has reached a steady point and isn't rising anymore, that means that the first fraction has reached its boiling point. Um, at which point uh, the gas should come through the condenser uh, and the lower temperature in the condenser should mean that the gas will condense into, into liquid which we collect in this flask. And when the temperature starts to rise again that means that it's gone past the, the, first, um, the first boiling point which means we take this flask and replace it with a different one to collect the second fraction. Uh, we put the first flask to the side uh, to allow it to cool to room temperature <coughs> and then start collecting the second fraction. Um, once we see that the, the temperature has gone to a steady point again, um, then we know that, like the first fraction, it's reached the boiling point. Um, we repeat this with however many fractions there are in the solution with a different beaker for each. And before it yeah. distills to nothing, we turn off the heating mantle because if there's uh, if there's no liquid left in the flask, uh, you're in danger of it exploding. Um, so once you've turned off the heating mantle, you would turn off the cold water as well, and then you'd allow all your samples to cool to room temperature before doing anything with them. Um, normally, you would do this in a fume hood, but because I'm not doing anything, uh, there's no need to set it up in a fume cupboard. Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, 